What's up YouTube, Winterguard here. So Diablo 4's Early Access Beta is wrapping up as I record. So we're going to get into a couple of pros and cons, I think, of the gameplay and the game just in general. So let's do it. Alright guys, so as far as Diablo 4's Early Access Beta, so everybody's already put out hundreds of videos about how bad the initial launch was. Uh, it kind of, to me, was just typical Activision, I hate to say it, but we anybody that's played Activision games, they know their launches rarely go smoothly. So we'll just leave it at that. We ran into the same shenanigans when we tried to play on Friday at launch. But it is what it is, Activision being Activision, so we'll just move past that part and then get into a few things here. I'm going to start with pros, things I liked about the game, uh, things speaking with the community that everybody kind of agreed on that were pretty fun and enjoyable. The game itself, I went into cautiously optimistic. I wasn't really sure what to expect. There was a lot of hype around. It's going to be D3 Plus, D3 Remastered, Diablo Immortal on steroids. Um, a lot of varying opinions. I think for the most part, if you are part of the current Diablo community, meaning either part of D2R, uh, even the original... Uh, D3, you weren't sure what to expect. There was um, some invite-only early access for certain people, and the word I got from that was the game was not as they expected, and it was actually pretty fun. So I was kind of hoping that I would come away with the same impressions. So let's just jump into a couple of things I think they did really well. Uh, let's touch base first on the world size itself. If you were to look at the map, it is enormous. There is a lot of room. There's a lot of different zones for varying levels. And if you also look at the edge of the maps, there's obviously room for expansion as far as DLCs down the line, expansions, however you want to uh, refer to them as. There's, they've left room to grow. So that in itself I think is a good thing. Uh, we got to explore small portion of it to me and there was a lot to do in that area the one thing i will say is it looks like they're going to be following along the dynamic difficulty and what i mean by that is as you level the monsters in the zone you're in they level with you basically so there's not like easier zones that you could go back to once you've out leveled them and maybe grind uh for gear it looks like the progression's going to be dynamic with your current level. So there's that to consider. Um, I'm kind of on the fence on that. I don't particularly care for it, but it, it's not a deal breaker for me. So we'll just leave it at that. All right, the boss fights. These were unexpectedly more fun than I thought they would be. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of used to... Uh, I come from the Diablo 2 community, so the bosses, you know, they, they throw a couple of um, spell effects or attacks around. You, you don't even necessarily even have to, uh, to dodge them. These fights, you have to put some thought into. And as I was saying uh, earlier, with it being dynamic with your level, um, they're not necessarily going to get easier as you level them. You're not necessarily going to out-level the bosses themselves. There's at least for me with Barbarian, and this might change if you're playing one of the range classes, there was a lot of dodging and in and out and waiting for cooldowns. So the the fights you had to put some thought into and they were they were actually challenging. I, I really enjoyed the boss fights. I played this all the way through on uh, veteran difficulty, and there's two more difficulties above that. Don't expect to steamroll the boss fights coming out of the gate. Maybe later with gear, that could be a thing, but as a playthrough, you're not going to steamroll these bosses. I consider that a plus. It was a lot of fun to do these fights. Okay, let's move on to the world bosses. Now, they had one world boss spawn in for the beta test uh, at uh, four to six different times, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. The fight itself was a ton of fun. I, I really loved the boss fight itself, the world boss fight. I'm not sure how they're actually going to implement this just in 
when it goes live. I don't know if we're going to have multiple different types of world bosses that can spawn in, if they're going to set specific times for them to spawn in, which I don't particularly care for. I also would like for the ability, you could party four people and go into the fight itself, and the fight is kind of, kind of zoned so that two group, or 12 people total can be in on the boss fight. There was a way to potentially link up groups, so if you have three groups of four, you could all zone into the same boss fight. Um, there's some workarounds for this, but if there was a way to maybe, if you're in a clan and you have three clan groups, that would be kind of cool if you could potentially get those three groups or however you want to do it to all be in the same world boss fight instead of uh, potentially having three random groups. But uh, the fight itself was a ton of fun. It was a bit of a loot pinata, but at the same time, you're not necessarily going to be doing this uh, easily. These boss fights are pretty tough. I did one boss fight, the group was successful, but at the same time that was going on, um, talking to other community members, some of the boss, some of their groups were not successful, so it was not necessarily a pushover. I put the world boss stuff in in kind of a pro that 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 was kind of an enjoyable change to the loot or to the uh, overall system, being that it's open world. I do like the idea of world bosses, so definitely a pro in my opinion. Okay, trading. So trading is currently limited. You could trade rares and below as far as um, item types. Like there's uh, normals, which is white. The blue blue items are magical. Uh, rares are yellow. Legendaries, or if you're a D2R player, uh, you, it'd be equivalent to uniques. The legendaries currently are not tradable. I believe like crafting mats are tradable. So there is some trading already implemented and it seems to work fine. My only concern with this, I don't see why, because the rares are going to be kind of the trade maybe currency. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't see why you couldn't open up all the different types of loot to trading. I don't see why aspects can't be traded, legendaries themselves. I, I'm not seeing a good argument against this. So personally, I've fallen into the camp of just allow for full trading for everything. Uh, I was kind of on the fence. I was kind of just waiting to see how this would play out and how the loot system was going to work. But I think just in general, I think it, it's not going to hurt the, uh, the economy for it to just move to just full trade at this point. Okay, the skill tree. Now, I, I do like the layout of the skill tree. When you first see it, and if you've played Path of Exiles, you see there's some similarity. It's not really, once you get it into a deeper dive of the skill tree, it's basically, to me, it's the Diablo 3 skill system just laid out differently. So, you're still set with the same... Uh, attack abilities you got your left click right click on mouse and then four uh, additional attack slots so it's basically the same system to me they have expanded upon it I think there's more capabilities and and builds that you can do through this system uh, incorporating uh, the aspect system with the loot so it's a little more dynamic than the d3 system but don't let the looks fool you. This is the D3 system just with a different layout. I mean, that's basically it. I'm kind of on the I don't know. I don't consider this a pro. It's kind of middle ground for me. I, I, I'm not sure which way I lean on this yet. It is a little more expansive than the D3 system, but it's basically the, the same style of system, just with a PoE look to it so that it looks a lot more expansive than it actually is. But uh, we still don't know how this is going to play out. Uh, this, I don't think the system's going to grow, but there are ways to potentially um, build upon like your main attacks through the aspects and, and itemization. That actually makes it a lot better than the D3 system, I think, just in general. But uh, yeah, it's not as complicated as it looks. Let's leave it at that. Okay, let's get into some of the cons of the game. Um, and... We're going to keep this kind of short because a lot of people already expanded on this. Uh, and this one for sure has been the topic of probably every video that's been that's come out about the early access beta. The dungeons need to be more randomized. They are the same, same basically the same map 
layout with the same unlock two keys or or hit two ratchets or get two it's just it's repetitive and you know it seems a little disingenuous to say that as a d2r player but at least when you're running the same boss over and over for loot the maps are for the most part random so outside of a couple areas like chaos sanctuary or um, say for instance doing pendle runs you know those things are repetitive and the same over and over and over if you're doing most of the other areas that people farm the maps are random so that definitely needs to be expanded okay the character ui looks like a mobile game there's just no getting around it it looks like a mobile game it i mean it's it is it does hold a little bit more information probably than you would see in a mobile game but i do not like the fact that if you go into your inventory a dagger in your inventory looks no different than a large two-handed sword in your inventory i don't have a good solution for this because you it, it's tough to uh if you play d2r you know if you have a large two-handed weapon it takes up eight cubes within your inventory and a ring takes up one and uh, you know a, a wand or a dagger is going to take up two um, and you know and this has been said a thousand times as well you don't really care to play the inventory tetris getting all the blocks to fit to maximize your space that being said i don't care for the fact that everything in your inventory takes two slots that just I feel like that takes away from the experience itself. I don't have a good solution for it, but uh, I'm sure there's some creative people on the team that could come up with a better look for the character UI. It, it doesn't look good. I don't care for it at all. Also, the rune word system that, they, that was promised with the system has been pulled back while they work on it more. Um, this will definitely change up the itemization and loot hunt which is a good thing uh, I am glad that they were concerned that it wasn't up to expectations so they pulled it back um, so this is kind of a, a con that they didn't have it implemented and ready to go but I'm glad at least that they didn't go ahead and push it forward as is and potentially uh, set expect expectations to where people would just be disappointed in how it works so props to them for at least having the mindset that we're not going to put it in the game until it's working properly so con that it's not there and ready to go but i give it also kind of a, a props to the team for not implementing it as is or however they had it and what state it was was in and not pushing it in at that point yeah you could look at it as a con because it's not ready at least they didn't push it in at least they didn't push it in and say all right it sucks but here it is this is what we got so props to them for rolling it back and hopefully having it ready for launch we'll see maybe a month into after launch as long as it's in a good state when they finally drop it i, I could i could live with that last thing for me in the cons i do wish they'd have had at least one pvp zone available so that we could kind of play around with that and see how it feels that would have been something really nice to have as far as the beta testing is to be able to mess around in the pvp zone and just just smash faces against other players i mean we it's been promised uh hopefully they don't go the way of d3 and promise it and just never deliver hopefully that won't be the case i feel like they will have it at some point I, I i don't know um being burnt from that in d3 kind of makes you pause and hope it doesn't go that direction to where we're going to have pvp zones and they just don't do it so not having anything available in the test areas it's a little concerning because i mean we do have some precedent to look back at d3 where it was promised and just didn't ever show up final thoughts overall impression i truly enjoyed playing the beta again we had some things that um should have been available or a little bit better but overall it was a good game i truly enjoyed it uh it was way better than i expected it's uh, 
I'm sure my community is probably tired of hearing this because I said it over and over yesterday. Um, if we were using the baseball analogy, the early access beta was a stand-up double. It's, it was way better than I expected. Um, they got till June 6th to hit a home run, but we shall see if they actually meet expectations. It seems like they do or are listening to feedback. Um, but three months in dev time is not a ton, so I don't know if we're going to get a lot of changes prior to June 6th release. Um, maybe they'll make a few. Hopefully they're listening to us this time. Take some of the constructive criticism that I know a lot of content creators have put forward. And a lot of it has been not just bashing the game or just praising the game. There's been a lot of great feedback, I think, that's been pushed forth and hopefully they listen to some of it at least. I think for the most part, a lot of the content creators are in agreement on some of the things that need to be changed. So we'll see what they do. Again, next weekend is going to be open beta. If, if you don't own the game, you could jump in and play it for three days. I would suggest that you do it. It's a lot of fun. I will be trying the Necromancer on my next go through. We played the Barbarian up 25. It was tough. Um, from what I hear from the, some of the other players that played like Rogue or, I don't know, Sorceress, Mage, Wizard. I don't know actually what they're calling it. It was it was a bit of an easier time. The Barbarian was, I wouldn't necessarily say a struggle bus, but it was tough. It was hard mode for sure. Uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed difficulty. And we definitely encountered some of that as a Barbarian. Next weekend, we'll try a Necromancer and see how it plays out. I uh, hope you guys will join me, join me for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe. Discord information's in the description. If you want to talk to me there, I usually respond to anybody that reaches out. Uh, I live stream multiple times a week. You can catch me there on YouTube or Twitch. Links are in the description as well. But uh, we'll leave it here and hopefully see how the next beta goes. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Have a good one.